I'm Captain Valerie Littlejohn with the Office of Media Relations. We want to update you on an officer-involved shooting that occurred on August 13th, 2022. It was at approximately 1.13 a.m. when officers were called to 722 Northeast 34th Terrace in reference to a domestic. Once on scene, officers learned a man who was a prior roommate was in the house with a gun. A juvenile and an adult female were also in the house with the armed suspect. The armed man was identified as Terrence Harris. Harris refused to come out of the house. Shots fired, shots fired. Shortly thereafter, a shot was fired by the suspect and seconds later, the juvenile ran out of the house to safety unharmed. It's an active hostage. Yep. It's an active hostage. Sure. All right, then we're going to breach the front door. Yes. Officers heard the female inside screaming for help, prompting the officers to converge on the house. Front door! Front door! Front door! Front door! Front door! Officers were able to get the female out to safety. Turn the front door! Turn the front door! Now! Front door. Now! Now! now. During the rescue, the suspect attempted to flee from the side door, coming into contact with officers. The suspect pointed his firearm at the officers, causing the officers to discharge their firearms toward the suspect. The suspect retreated back inside only to reemerge at the front door and quickly approached another officer with a gun and some type of shield in his hand, which drew gunfire from the officer. I can't see with the sh Yeah, it's coming. I can't see his hands either. Hands! Show me your hands! He had it in his hand. He had it in his hand. Drop it! He then went back inside for a short time before exiting from the back of the house. When confronted by officers at the back of the house, the suspect fired his gun. Two officers returned fire at the suspect. He was eventually taken into custody outside. The wounded suspect was taken to an area hospital for treatment. After being treated and released from the hospital, Harris was booked into the Oklahoma County Detention Center for two counts of felonious pointing a firearm, kidnapping, and use of a firearm while committing a felony. No officers were injured by gunfire during this event. A total of five officers discharged their firearms during this standoff. The hostage was not seriously injured. All five officers have been placed on routine administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. The investigation is still in the early stages and will take time to complete.